In this video, I am going to show you how to connect the V8 sound card to a laptop, specifically a Windows uh, laptop, while you're doing your Zoom conference or meeting. Without further ado, let's get started. So, this is going to be the uh, setup. So, from the V8 uh, sound card, I only connected three wires from here. Okay, let me show you. So the first wire is for the uh, condenser microphone, right there. And the second wire is for the headphone. So you can either uh, connect it to headphone or earphone, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. And the third wire is the uh, for the charging. So the other end for the charging, so that's, uh, okay, it looks uh, like that. And the other end is uh, a USB. Uh, type of thing. So it's this one here Something like that. So again, uh, we connect the other end to the laptop Okay Now so in here we first uh, open um, Like of course the zoom and let's say for example you are hosting a meeting or a conference. So in this uh, setup here, this is after you sign in already to your uh, Zoom account. Okay, so let's uh, give it a try. Uh, so let's, uh, so new meeting, let's uh, open one. And there it is. Okay, so we have to join, click join with computer audio. So make sure to click that and let's just maximize this one we should not forget to turn this one so let's turn on the v8 sound card okay there it is now from here there's going to be a few settings and it's up to you whatever is your whatever is your preference so if you click over here so the one that has the microphone icon right there okay so from here uh, make sure your microphone is set to, to this one so that it'll pick up uh, the like the effects from here with the echo and all this uh, like sound effects from here. So again, so select FRJ dash V8 and the speaker. It's up to you if you want to use this as your speaker. If you want to use this as your speaker, then for sure you need a headset. So this is uh, this is that and. Uh, if you want to use uh, the laptop as your speaker, then you have to select uh, the uh, speaker Realtek or what. Uh, sometimes it says built-in speaker, so you can do that. Sometimes it, it doesn't work. If it won't work, I just suggest I just suggest use this one here as your speaker. Anyway, you can uh, listen to it by like with a headset or headphone. And if you want an external additional speaker, you can connect it also to the other port there, the one that is headphones. So you can interchange them, uh, whatever uh, is your preference. It's up to you. Okay, so now let's, uh, I suggest before you start, you should uh, test first your audio. So go to audio settings right there. And from here, so the top one says uh, test speaker. Okay, now uh, I think it's, uh, I will just change it to this built-in speaker of this laptop so you can hear. Okay, there it is. So let's test it. Okay, so it means it's working because we can hear it. Okay, let's stop that. Now from the microphone here, again, if you click the microphone, the options are right there. This is the built-in microphone and that's the, the microphone from the uh, V8, the one that says microphone FRJ dash V8. So that's the one we will be uh, using. Now let's test it. So let's click test mic. And now let's just, uh, okay, let's uh, give it a try. Let's just move it a little bit. Okay, let's uh, try it. Okay, test one, two, three, one, two, three, test one, two, three. Test. One, two, three, one, two, three, test one, two, three. Okay, so there it is. As you notice, it has uh, the effects already um, when it comes to the sound. So everything is working. Okay, now, so let's uh, just X, uh, let's get out from there. 
And now, for example, if, uh, okay, let's test it out by joining another gadget to this uh, uh, meeting. Okay, so let's say we wanted to join. Sorry, my table is wobbly. <laughs> okay, so to join is go to uh, participants and uh, just tap that arrow up right there and invite. And uh, of course, the number is right there for the Zoom number. So let's type that. Oops. So one. Okay, and the password is just uh, down over there. Okay, it might feed back because it's so close to each other. Okay, let's lower the volume from there. Okay, let's test it. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. One, two, three, four. Testing one, two. Okay, let's lower it again. Okay, now let's uh, give it a try. Let's. Um, select or press some of the effects from here let's let's uh, try to cheer okay so it does work let's try the uh, voice changer sound check testing one two let's see let's just make this a little bit louder there it is okay let's try another sound uh, voice changer okay there it is sound check testing one two so it does pick up Okay, now let's go back to our original voice. Okay, there it is. Okay, so as you notice, it does pick up when I change my voice on this uh, uh, gadget. Okay. Okay, so just to give you a heads up, uh, uh, this connection could be laggy because it depends, I should say it depends on the uh, it would depends also on the internet, uh, like however fast or whatever is the speed of of the internet. So uh, maybe it's not going to be perfect, but uh, at least uh, this is. I'm just I'm just showing you how to connect them, and just to show you that it does work if if you use this V8 in a Zoom conference uh, call. All the effects, sound effects from here, you can use them. Let's say, for example, you wanted to uh, share a screen. You can do it as well while uh, doing this uh, Zoom conference. So simply uh, just uh, tap that screen share right there. So arrow up. And then if you want to s s share your screen, and then click share. Let's say, for example, I wanted to share this one. So as you can see right there, it's sharing. And you can, like, you can pinch it also like to make it bigger from your phone so it's up to you and so when you hit play over here it will play also over there on the phone so this is so uh, so pretty much screen sharing you share whatever you're seeing on here to whoever the participants of your of your uh, conference and uh, so simply if you want to stop the sharing just stop that sharing and another thing also uh, that you can use is the voiceover from here. For example, you added uh, an instrument or a background music to this one. You can either connect it uh, using a wire or let's say, for example, like uh, this additional wire here. So if you have a background music, you can just connect uh, this one to the one that says background music from here and connect the other gadget to like connect this other end to another gadget that plays music and every time you when you click this voice over a every time you speak the that background music go down and then when you stop talking then the background music is back up again let me give you a sample on that so as you notice we are still connected this is the participant and that is the host over there 
Now let's say for example I'm going to use this as my background music so you will need this cord. This cord comes when you purchase this uh, V8 sound card. So this 3.5 mm goes to the headphone jack of the gadget you will be using as a source of your or background music. And the other end you will connect to the V8 sound card under background music. So it's right there. Okay. So that's pretty much the background music. And now if I'm going to press the voiceover right there. Okay, so the voiceover is now turned on. Every time I speak, the, vo the background music goes off or at least lower. And if I'm going to stop talking, there, so the uh, instrument or the background music is up again. So as you can see, it does work. Uh, the voiceover works uh, during a Zoom uh, conference. And that's all I can share for today. If you like uh, videos uh, like this, please uh, like and subscribe and click the uh, bell button so you are updated for all the upcoming uh, videos I will be posting. Please stay safe and uh, till next time. God bless.